Hey G Squad, welcome back to episode of Is and Worth It. So for today's episode, I have this cool mesh right here, and basically what this is is the Fire TV Stick 4K Mac. So they mentioned how this is their most powerful 4K streaming stick that has a next generation Wi-Fi 6 technology on here. So you can definitely get like the best performance, best quality, best image quality, and everything else on here. So I reviewed a few of the other ones in the past, ranging from the regular Fire TV Stick to the 4K TV Stick, and also the newer version of the Fire TV Stick, where it had the same kind of remote that they have on here. And that one is very similar to this one right here, but that one is not the 4K version. This one right here, it is the 4K version, which is pretty nice. So obviously for this device, it works the same way as the previous ones, where you can watch Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, Hulu, Disney Plus, and so many other platform or streaming service on here as well. But for those of you guys who are curious about what are the upgrades or difference of this one versus the previous versions, basically as you're getting like a new design of the remote on here, and that is if you guys have the previous version that's not like the new remote control on here. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you guys right now. And they do provide you guys this little cable that you can use. All you guys need to do is attach it onto here and just stick it in. And the whole point of this is that in case you guys need to bend the actual cable itself to fit it in a certain angle, that way you can use one of these. If you guys don't need that, you just stick it in, then you just stick it in right here. So the way how you guys actually power this device or charge it up, so there is input right here that you need to plug it in to charge it up, and that is how you guys power it up. And if remote is service, you see there's all these buttons right here, so there's a power button right there, up, down, left, right, and then the select button right here. There's a back button right here, home button right here, the list button right here. There's a skip button, rewind button, play and pause, volume up and down, a mute button right here, and then this is the voice control. So you can use this to activate Alexa, whatever, if you guys want to use the voice control, voice assistant to uh, change channels or increase the volume or whatever you guys want to use. And basically the mic is right here, if you guys can see, and then this is where it's actually point towards the TV or the device to uh, start using it. Alright, so once we open up the app, this is basically what it looks right here. So you can see Netflix, Disney+, Plus, YouTube, Prime Videos, and everything else right here. So you can see I actually reviewed a few of these other ones that didn't have the same function as it's on here in terms of different remote, and also it's like the older version but basically there's a few improvement on here since so the memory on here is actually higher now it is two gigabytes compared to the previous version it was like one gigabyte and 1.5 gigabytes so definitely like a slight difference in terms of the audio support it's still around the same it still has Adobe Atmos and everything on here if you guys see on the side right here they probably got the information as well right here and also in the back right here as well and also for the quad core processor they actually improved that as well so now it has a CPU of 1.8 GHz and it also has a GPU of 750 MHz. So it's definitely like a slight difference compared to the previous versions. But definitely when you guys use the product right here, you can definitely notice the difference on here. But definitely love the brand new remote control on here. So that way you can just click your favorite stations on here, like Prime Video, Netflix, and the list goes on. But that is basically everything that's on the product right here. Let me actually open this up to show you guys what's included inside first. So basically I want to peel off the back part here first. When you guys open it up, this is what it looks like inside. Let's take everything out. So right here we have the remote, right here we have the cable, right here we have the Fire TV stick, right here they provide you guys the user manual, right here they provide you guys the extension cord if you guys need to extend the Fire TV stick, and then the very bottom right here, they provide you guys two of these AAA batteries, so I'm assuming that is for the remote, and right here is the wall charger, so you definitely want to plug in the cable to actually activate the Fire TV stick, and that is basically everything that's included in the package right here. So now I'm actually take out the remote and also the Fire TV stick to show you guys what that looks like as well. Alright, so I see that this is basically what the remote looks like. So you definitely have the Fire TV logo right here. And then we have the power button right here. We have Alexa button right here. Here's the volume up and volume down button, home button, rewind button, and etc. And bottom right here, you can see they have Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, and Hulu. Which are some of the most common streaming service on here. So that's why they add on here. And I believe if you guys know how to actually recustomize the buttons on here, you can definitely recustomize these options right here. So that way, if you guys want to change like Disney Plus to like Discovery Channel or something, you can definitely do that on your own. I'm not gonna go into that right now, but if you guys want to learn that, feel free to do that on your own time. And on the back part right here is where you're gonna put on the battery. So let's open it up. I just want to slide this part out. This is what it looks like in the back. So let's put in the battery first. All right, so we got the battery in. So we basically start using the product now. Now let's take a look at the actual Fire TV stick right here. All right, so right here we have the Fire TV stick. It does use the HDMI option right here. So you definitely want to plug that onto your TV, your projector, or whatever. And the bottom part right here is where you can plug in the cable to activate the product. So it definitely needs to be charged in order for you guys to use it at the same time. 
So that is basically everything that's included in the package. Now I'm actually go plug all this in and test it out to show you guys what it actually looks like and when it actually works. And then we'll come back and talk more about product in a second. So you see right here, I have my Fire TV stick plugged into my Anchor Nebula capsule projector right here. Let's turn it on and test it out. All right, so once you got it plugged in, we can start using the product. So I wanna press on the play key to activate it. All right, and it tells us to actually set it up. So let me actually set it up first. All right, so it's installing the latest software first. All right, so it's basically loading right now. All right, so since I already have a Fire TV stick, it actually does it for me. So if it's your first time setting up the product, you probably have to follow all the different steps on here. But if you guys used it before, then you don't have to worry about it. All right, so we're basically controlling the actual volume right here to make sure it works on remote first and it works. All right, so we got everything all set up now. If you can see, this is basically what it looks like. If you guys look at the quality on here, it definitely looks like a high quality image and everything. And if you guys look at the speed right here, it's really, really fast. Faster than the previous version for sure. So let's say if you guys want to watch something on here, let me just click on something to watch. All right, so we got it all set up. If you can see, it definitely does work. If you can see the quality of the image and everything or the video quality, it actually looks really, really good. And we didn't even turn on the movie yet. All right, so I don't want to play too much of that right now just because it's like copyrighted or whatever, but just to give you guys a little sneak peek of what it actually sounds like and what it actually looks like when you guys use it. It definitely looks high quality and actually processes everything really fast. If you can see, when we move it left and right, everything loads up so fast. So you can definitely see like the updates or upgrade that they did on here it definitely makes a difference in terms of like the processing speed, the core and everything else to give you guys the best experience when you guys use the product right here. So this is basically what the product looks like once you guys fully install it. All right, welcome back guys. So now that quick test of the product, definitely see that actually does work. It actually works quite well. Super easy to install and super easy to set up the product. You basically want to set up the same way that you guys did for your previous Fire TV stick if you guys have one in the past. But definitely once you guys use the product, you definitely notice like a slight difference everything when you guys use it it definitely feels faster when you guys are switching stuff from one movie to another so for those of you guys who are concerned on whether or not the actual product still works on like 1080p devices such as tv or projectors or even 720p it actually still works you probably just won't get that 4k image quality and everything when you guys use the product unless you guys have like a projector or TV that supports 4K quality. We definitely see the image quality or the video quality and the overall performance of the product definitely works really, really well. And like I mentioned earlier, I really like the brand new remote on here as well. It makes it a lot easier for me to go to my most favorite uh, streaming services, such as like Disney Plus, Netflix, or whatever. And then obviously, if you guys have other devices that can support like Wi-Fi 6 technology, you can definitely use that on here since this one actually supports the Wi-Fi 6 technology on here. And obviously, same as the other previous version, it definitely has an Alexa voice option. So you can definitely use that on here as well. So that is basically everything that is on the product. Not the unboxing and testing the product not to answer question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for this product, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want more than need one of these, especially if you guys love like Fire TV Stick and you guys want to get the best of the best, then this is definitely the best of the best as of right now. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or haven't wanted these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That would definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.